Right, you can still see that. Oof, oof, oof. Not a lot you can do about that. Don't dye your hair when you're bored. Right, so we had another amazing arty live stream on Sunday. We looked at primitive artists, naive artists. We dropped all the bloody rules, perspective, and oh, I've got all big in the face. Nobody wants that. We dropped the, you know, oh, anatomy and all that bullshit. We just went straight in and we did it so that we would 100% not be worried about that. We went in with our wrong hand. And then what I wanted to do was um, magic the reality they've taken away from us back onto the bit of paper. So left-handed so that you drop rules so that when you've dropped the rules, you're only focusing on the emotions and you know the fluffy part if you if you stop thinking oh i gotta get me bloody angles right and oh christ a bloody body's eight heads or whatever they bloody used to teach you if you're not thinking about that and you're just like i'm at the beach i'm bloody down the pub and i don't even care imagine the smell of the beer imagine the sound of the seagulls that's what we were doing so we did it left-handed so that you couldn't really think about the bloody perspective and all the rules did it left-handed then coloured it in and we had a right old laugh and some of the pictures are bloody brilliant and some of them go off in right bloody tangents right casey started off having camp and ended up at the bloody highland games i started off in bloody pembrokeshire went to a hot tub went for a walk ended up in bloody dubrovnik and it, i reckon that's magic see i reckon thomas, thomas would say that's magic so um we magicked up the shit they've taken away and it was great so this week i thought we would yeah still sort of dropping the rules um well no 100 percent dropping the rules i thought we would try and do some little art therapy i suppose that was art therapy last time but a little technique um and we are going to use this week so all i had was because i just wanted quick color um color done didn't want to bloody wait around for no paints to dry um or nothing like that and um coloring pencils are good but they didn't have the vibrancy i wanted i this time i want color boom because this is going to be about getting your shit right out so the only thing i had was these because i'm quite quite fancy Nah, it was because I used to run the bloody art class and I had to have my fancy bits and pieces. But So I had bloody oil pastels and they're quite expensive. So I'm like, I don't want people to bloody well go around spending f f fucking fortune on this. I want it to be accessible for everybody. So I thought, right, what should I do? I didn't even have any. So I went to bloody Sainsbury's. It's the closest shop because I'm a bit lazy. To buy some cheap, um, you know, wax crayons like you have when you're a kid. Um, and the only bloody ones he had was bloody four pounds, but I would have got like 99p if I could have bloody found them. But anyway, they were four pounds, which I still think is a bit expensive. But like I say, if you can find something for 15p, then fucking get it. Um, wax crayons, let you give your little kid or something. So I got these and to be fair, there's the jumbo ones and I quite like them because I started off doing it. Uh, yeah, I was getting the colour down, but it was still a bit not Liz. Turned it round, can got in there. So this week, we get yourself some cheap crayon, uh, like wax crayons, you know. The cray you don't have to be Crayola, it can be bloody well Poundland, it don't matter. As long as you can get some colour, quite bright colour, fast. Because we're going to be, like, hashtag pushing is what I say, innit? We're going to be, like, I thought what we'd do is, we'd do a little... Not necessarily meditation, but we'd have a little think and we would focus on different emotions that's being brought up during this fucking lockdown. Just found out one of my bloody ex-colleagues, oh bless her, she's in her fucking 20s, just found out because of lockdown. She bloody went bright yellow, she's got cirrhosis of the liver because she's just fucking drinking it herself to death in her 20s with a young kid. Yeah, so that'll be a, well, they put that down to bloody corona, wouldn't they? And it fucking is, isn't it? It is corona. It's not because you fucking got it. It's been locked down. Anyway, that made me fucking furious. So I thought, let's just fucking get that fury or whatever. Whatever it is. Anger, frustration, you know, all the negative stuff. 
we'll have a little meditation. Maybe we'll get some music. I should find some bloody angry music or something. Can we just really get in a zone? Fucking hell! You know, it might not be bloody pandemic to piss you off. It might be your bloody neighbour or your boyfriend or whatever it is. It doesn't have to be the same as what my bloody anger is. It's healthy to get it out in it. So we're going to do that. We're going to maybe contemplate for a bit. And then we're going to bloody well get it out. That could be like, they call it stucco or something. Bloody artists. So maybe we could do that in time to the music, get any anger out. Uh, don't worry, I'm not going to stick with the anger. Once that's on the page, I'm not even going to lie. I'm going to show you this, right? This was frustration about masks. Because this bloody woman, I had it just a tiny bit under my nose and she was like, follow me around bloody Sainsbury's. I told her to fuck off, but she couldn't hear me because I had a bloody mask on. Just a tiny bit of my nose out. What went Sainsbury's Sainsbury's? It's like, do you know what they say? The tannoy now. Masks aren't. What is it? Noses are for wearing, not for sharing. So I got home and I was pissed off about this old woman that kept following me around bloody stage base. And so I thought, right, let's just do one about her. And anger, frustration, and look at this. That's all right, isn't it? I quite liked it. Oh, yeah, what else you need is like a little sharp thing like a little pointy thing or something because um when you do thick crayons you can then scratch back into them and you can layer 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 and then scratch back into them so i just broke you know the little pointy bit on the end of a pen i broke that off and um i scratched them with that so you can find something scratchy as well you see close up you see little scratches now i did that before i went out with me fancy my fancy pants oil pastels and I'm not as happy with it. I'll show you. Still got some fucking shit out of my system, so if you've got oil pastels, go for it. But that's the oil pastel one. And this is the cheap wax crayon. I prefer that one. And like I say, all of these things that we do, not supposed to be finished product. But if you're that way inclined, you could maybe then see them as sketches and then go on and do a bloody finished product, don't it? But don't worry, we're not just going to stick with anger. We, you know, I'm not that bloody mean. We'll go on and we'll do some karma ones and we'll just see how we get on. So this week, if you want to join us, 7pm on Sunday, the whatever that is. A look, get yourself some cheap wax crayons or if you're fancy pants some oil pastels but I did prefer the cheap ones wax crayons and a little thing that you can scrape back into it with and um and then we put it all in a little gallery and we show it show it off like we did at the beginning of this so come and see us we also play songs and then I get taken down for 10 minutes and have a laugh about it and then we get put back up again so what's the point of that and it's quite funny so thanks for everybody that has come and uh, see you Sunday <laughs>